Japan has a long history of seafarers. Less known are the country's river farers. On tonight's mixed play, Pamela Young shows us how these boatmen hold on to tradition. In another time, long ago, this river carried timber to build the great city of Kyoto. Today, it is the thoroughfare of the Wasen, the traditional Japanese flatboats piloted by a dying breed of navigator, the river farer. Kinosuke Tanaka has been rowing the Hosogawa for nearly 50 years. He knows every rock, every tree along the 16-kilometer winding course from Kameyoka to Arashiyama. He knows the mood of the river by the feel and color of the water. Knowledge he hopes to pass on to his sons as it was passed on to him. The three men work in concert silently. The only sound, the moaning of the oar against the hull. One is at the rudder to steer, another at the single oar to propel the boat forward, the third with a bamboo pole to push forward in shallow water and repel the rocks. The river fairs once transported grain and firewood to the south, a task now accomplished by trucks and trains. So the Wasan today are filled with tourists and weekend thrill seekers. They come for the mountain air, the wildlife, and the rapids. While inflatable rafts and protective headgear might be more prudent on the Fusakawa, the Wasan relies solely on the skill of its crew to keep the wooden craft and its passengers dry and safe. At age 69, Tanaka hopes to retire when his sons are ready to take over. If they take over, he's concerned that higher paying jobs may lure them to the city. He himself has no interest in leaving. Why should I, he asks, when this is my office? As we near Arashiyama, the food vendors approach. On the menu today, hot dog turnip soup and beer. The covered lake boats stick close to shore, catering to tourists a little less willing to take a more adventuresome journey to the delta. But to the remaining river farers, this is the only way to see the Hosugawa in a scuffed and scarred flatboat flying through the crystalline waters. That's Mixed Plate. I'm Pamela Young.